So how are you doing today? So today it's a two minute engineering. It's all about improvising your SOLIDWORKS workflow with some simple tricks. Number one, the R key. So as soon as you load up your SOLIDWORKS, this is what you're gonna see. And after hitting R on your keyboard, this is what will pop out. The R key opens up a window of recent documents and folders. So this is a super convenient way for working and browsing recent documents. Once enabled, it will open up every time SOLIDWORKS loads up. Okay, so number two is Command Search. Command Search tool is a big time saver, especially if you are a beginner. So this is how you access it. Once you are into the SOLIDWORKS workspace, hit W on your keyboard and you have enabled search command tools on the top right corner of the workspace. Now, all you have to do is just type in the command and it will show up. So number three is views and navigation. A big part of creating models are views and being able to observe your model properly. SOLIDWORKS allows you to navigate through different view positions through view orientation. But wouldn't it be great if you could incorporate those views in uh, in some kind of a shortcut or maybe mouse gesture? Well, that is exactly what you can do. Go to settings, customize, mouse gestures, and personalize the shortcuts you want on your mouse. These shortcuts are my personal favorite. Once we're done with allotting the shortcuts, hold down your right mouse button and slowly move your mouse pointer towards the direction of shortcut you want to use. Number four is very important. That is sharing SOLIDWORKS files on non-SOLIDWORKS systems. When you have to share your SOLIDWORKS files, models to a colleague or a friend who does not have a SOLIDWORKS installed onto their system, it can turn out to be frustrating. The solution is convert the SOLIDWORKS files to .stl file, which can be viewed on any system having a Windows 8 or higher. Once you have built your model in SOLIDWORKS, go to save as. In save as type, select STL and save. That's it. Now you can open up the .stl file with Print3D app installed as default on Windows. Number 5 is multiple windows. You can enable multiple windows on SOLIDWORKS for better overview of the model. How to do it? Click on view orientation tab or simply click the spacebar. Inside the orientation dialog box, you can select 2 or 4 view window. Number 6 is image quality. By default, image quality on SOLIDWORKS is set to uh, normal which actually gives you a rough finishing. To enhance the image quality, go to settings, document properties, image quality and set the shaded and draft quality that is HLR slash HLV resolution to less than 0.185000 millimeter. Now you'll be able to better analyze your files and see your model better. Number 7 is customizing colors. See if you're like me, you'll be bored with the default white look on your SOLIDWORKS. Then you must try adding some colors to the environment. And as you see, I prefer a little darker themes, a little greyish. By the way, you can also add an image of your choice in the background. Uh, anyway, I like to have a gradient image. Go to settings, system options, colors and personalize your SOLIDWORKS appearance. These are my preferences. And the last one but not the least is uh, tip number 8 that is safe locking your SOLIDWORKS settings. See. After setting your SOLIDWORKS, you don't want your settings and preferences to go disappear in case of a crash or new installation. To avoid this, you need to save your settings in what is called a copy settings wizard. You can launch the copy settings wizard from tools, save slash restore settings. Well, so that's all for now and I'll see you in the next one.